They're already used to keep an eye on SWAT calls and other big crime scenes. Now BCSO says it's launching a new layer of drone technology aimed at getting cameras on a scene before deputies can arrive on the ground. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch has more on the technology. The sheriff's office says a handful of these new drones will be able to fly on their own as fast as 35 miles per hour directly to in progress emergency calls with a goal of scouting potentially dangerous situations safely. Calling it their drone as a first responder program, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office says this new fleet will help deputies get an eye on 911 calls a lot faster than people on the ground. The drones are made by a company called Skydio and can be flown autonomously or to automatically fly to a crime scene on their own. The faster intel that we have coming through dispatch into our deputies, not only is it faster response times, but it's also a tactical advantage. While the sheriff's office already has some drones, these new ones are designed to be deployed first, allowing deputies to see what's happening before getting on scene. They plan to train 25 deputies to use the fleet of up to 20 autonomous drones. And all that is is a continuation of what we announced a year and a half ago of the drone program we were bringing. Uh, when we took office, our technology was far behind, and I always want to make sure that we are very transparent with the community, and specifically before the legislative session starts when I am asking for capital outlay money. The program will operate out of BCSO's Real-Time Operations Center in Tijeras, and BCSO hopes to soon partner with other police and fire departments, even aiming to use the drones for heat detection on possible wildfires. Not only does it cut down on response times, how are we properly de-escalating the situation and making sure that we're bringing the necessary resources in to handle the call correctly. BCSO says they have a three to five year contract with Skydio and they hope to get the new drones flying by next month. Back to you. All right, thank you, Marilyn. The Sheriff's Office also plans to ask the state legislature for $4 million in capital outlay for the program.